Hi guys, welcome back. So the second game of Super Saturday and France get the job done, get their bonus point win, 41-28. They're now sitting on top of the table. I'm recording this before the last game, so I don't know if Ireland win or lose. But if Ireland lose, then France get the championship. They did what they need to do. But Wales did make a really good game of this, although I think they were outclassed. I think it was a comfortable win, but certainly some positives for Wales and some things to work on for France, but a good finish for France at home for sure. Now let's get into the game, talk about the story of the game, because I do like the story of the game, and also pick up some themes that happened. And if you'd like this coverage of the Six Nations, feel free to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, all that good stuff, because the World Cup's coming up later in the year, and I'd love to have you there along for the ride. So, a really good start for Wales. Early five metre maul for chance, some good forward momentum from these early mauls. It looks like Owens might have knocked it on, but they get held up anyway. But they get another chance later on, some good offloads from Wales. They're definitely trying to keep the pace high, trying to get the rucks low as well. Keep France on their heels, did pretty well in the first half of doing that. The second five metre maul, Olivon and co, they swim through the maul pretty well to spoil, but Wales continue to press. They turn down an easy three points and they're patient from another mall and it pays off because a really good miss pass is like a triple miss pass from Webb to North, puts him under the post, exactly the start the Wales wanted, tested them in the mall, kept the pace of the attack high. That's exactly what they'd have wanted to do. But France are France. They're a great team with great players and on 10 minutes, what a blockbuster of a response from France. And it's Tompkins who slips off Intermac. Just one tiny error. And they're in. Intermac finds Dupont who does so well to look for the options. Fires a massive pass off his left hand to Pinot who's unmarked. Great response. 7 all. Good game already. And then the best kicker I think in the world at the moment. Ramos slots a laser straight conversion from out wide. And he was right on it all day with the boot. So anyway... Good slick handling from both sides. Good pace on the ball from both sides. It's a good sign. And just making a note that the Welsh pack in this first 20 minutes especially really provided a good platform for Wales to attack off. I thought Wainwright was a good addition to the side. He was making good headway with his carries at pace. He was fairly impressive. And indeed, when they made the change, it was Falatau that went off, which was interesting. Um, anyway. 16 minutes, big midfield scrum chance for Wales. Now, another chance to really push clear in this first 20 minutes when they were having their best patch. But Antonio, fresh pack from suspension, comes up with the goods. And when he was in the scrum, uh, France looked really dominant in the scrum. So a reason why he comes straight back in. Wales are making France to have to make a lot of tackles in this first 20 minutes. They're deliberately keeping the pace high, more offloads than normal, making the big, big French players work. I'm sure that's what their game plan exactly was. Anyway, the first 20 minutes has gone. It's a large period of French defence. And uh, Tabby Fifanua, who's a big guy, manages to get the jackal. That's impressive. And France are desperately trying to get some possession and territory because they haven't had much at all so far. They don't get it this time, though, as the Welsh defence swarm uh, the French back into their own 22. And the line speed from Wales was really high, which at times paid off. But as the game went on, that line speed was probably a bit too high and they were slipping off tackles and then France were in. Anyway, I don't know what the Welsh had for breakfast, but they were fired up to the max at this point. I think the likes of Tomkins North... Alan Wynne Jones seemed particularly hacked off, shall we say, that they were dropped for 20-year-olds in the last game. So they were all energy, all game. Whether they'll keep starting spots, I don't know at all. Let me know. Anyway, 24 minutes in, the first starter play error for Wales as Wainwright just doesn't quite get the clear out in time. Marchand's on it like a, sh a shot. So France actually pull ahead 10-7. And after such a great start for Wales... It just falls apart a little bit towards the end of that half. A disaster as Webb passes to empty air because Bigger's just moved a bit. Hey, a Bigger wouldn't be happy with that. I'm sure he'd blame everyone apart from himself. But anyway, they give free possession for France in the 22. The French front row is causing all sorts of problems. Like I said, another penalty, 13-7. So just pulling ahead after being under the pump a bit. So that's a little bit tough for Wales to take because they'd kind of executed exactly how they wanted and they're still behind. Anyway, 
on 32 minutes. Another note here that Wales are really contesting that ruck. Well, they're making it really, really messy for France to get the ball away. But it just seems no matter what they do, France have the individuals that can just slip off a tackle, get forward. And even if it's messy, they just keep that momentum going just enough. Intermac with one offload, frees Ramos and Dupont on the left. And it's easy to swing it back to the right. They just do nicely through the hands to Dante. He's too big to stop. You know, just what individual talent they have. I think that try encapsulates there because Wales actually did a lot right in defence and they still concede. 20 points to 7, of course. Ramos slots from wide. What a kicker. France uh, might have heard me uh, shouting at the TV that they need to get the ball off the pitch more because Wales were loving it when they were kicking the ball, keeping it in play to keep the pace high. So they're just starting to get a little bit of control back, build into the game. Dupont's the danger man. He creates all those options around him, always looking calm and cool and willing to break. And Wales are just starting to leak errors. The energy's just dying a little bit. They go half-time, 20 points to 7. And the second half starts exactly the way France would have wanted. On France's first attacking set, it's just unstoppable. Dupont's pulling all those strings, far too much power for Wales, and eventually they find the most unlikely outside back out wide. It's Antonio. He makes it look difficult, but he shuffles over to score and everyone celebrates. Good stuff when a prop scores out wide. 27-7, of course, Ramos nails the conversion. And when they play like this, France just look on a completely different level. But, to be fair to Wales, their defensive line speed and the hunger for the tackle is spot on. But like I said, France just keeps slipping out of those tackles and they just can't make that line speed really stick. And then at a similar point here, uh, Bigger flies up to get man and ball, but Intermac just gets the pass away. That means the Welsh defence is now dog legged. They're in trouble and Fiku just hits that killer line. He's almost the perfect 13 because he's got that pace as well to score 35 7. Dispiriting stuff for Wales who are you know, really trying their hearts out and doing a lot good, but they're just getting overpowered by probably just better players, to be honest. Anyway. Wales haven't given up. They try and make some changes. Thomas Williams is on to lift the attacking pace. He does well when he comes on. Tipperick with a really good clean steal. Probably Tipperick's best game of the tournament because he's had a couple of ropey ones. As Ramos tries to run the ball out from a tricky position. And Roberts actually shows really good power to dive over. And Wales needed that to stop the rot. So 34-14. And the try pumped up Wales. Rhys Samet actually gets some ball out wide, quick feet pace, causing France problems, which is good. Gets them on the front foot. Thomas Williams with a lovely box roller um, into space. And Wales get two five-metre attacking scrums. And they needed to score from this, but they can't. But a series of dominant hits from France snuff out that one. And Wales really need to score. And they do get over five minutes later. Thomas Williams darts over. The French scrum's a little weaker now. Atonian's off. Alatea's on. So, you know, that could have affected things definitely. But France don't post their guard in time. And Thomas Williams spots it. So good opportunist try there. 34-21. It's a big mountain to climb. But they need another try. And with 30 minutes to go, still a long shot. And then probably the killer error, really, an error from Bigger, just rushes his kick to touch, but he doesn't really need to. And they release Pinot on the counter-attack, and he makes a massive break, and then he makes a bit of a fool of himself by trying to milk a penalty. He ends up looking silly, but, you know, a second shocking kick from Wales, and they've probably blown the chance they needed to actually get back in the game. Then we see the absolute massive punt from Ramos on 72 minutes, just whacks the ball into the air, into orbit, and Intermac tapes an absolute miracle regather above his head. Wales are getting a bit tetchy now, shouting at each other. It's not looking good because they know the game's slipping away. Five minutes to go, the game is safe, so France goes to the rolling ball, tap penalty, they batter away. The Welsh defence, to be fair, is absolutely ferocious, but there's no rush for France and the brilliant Ramos just gets on the outside shoulder of Dyer enough to suck in half penny off his man and Pinot's in there on the wide uh, channel on the right 41-21 and of course the laser conversion from Ramos so the game is absolutely done there but Wales get a consolation and it's a shocking missed tackle from Ramos and Pano on the small Dyer a soft tackling but nice to get a consolation try there 41-28 and it kind of just showed that Wales didn't give up so decent showing from Wales but outclassed at this point of recording I don't know who wins the championship but France have put themselves in the frame on 20 points 
They've had a good championship and they'll be happy going into their World Cup build-up. Pop all the comments below on this game and I'll catch you next time.